Well, good morning, everybody. It is May 3rd, Saturday. And it's actually going to be maybe a sunny day today. We haven't had sun here since about Saturday of last week. It's been nothing but 40s and rain. Lots of rain. But I made the grass green. But the trees, let's see if we can zoom in here. As you can see, there's no buds on nothing. Rumor has it, because we had frost in the ground about six to eight feet, that uh, about four feet down there's still frost. Some buddies of mine even have septic problems with the drainage fields now because of all the rain. The rain can't soak in, so now their drainage fields are backing up. But the frost is still in the ground. Which is kind of a pain. But, yeah, what are you going to do? Well, we can hope for some sunny weather, and we're supposed to get sun and warmth. Actually, it's supposed to be almost 60 today, which will be hot. <laughs> but then back into the 50s tomorrow, and then 40s all next week, and rain, so... Eventually, we're going to get summer, hopefully, maybe. And what's been going on in here? Not a whole heck of a lot. Because of the crummy weather, I haven't got my wheels painted yet. Really wanted to get that done. Need to get this motor fired up. I think that'll be today somehow. We'll get this going. Last weekend, I was at the car show, and I picked up the radiator for the Model A. This was a show special of $150, brand new, in the box, with a warranty. I couldn't pass it up, so I bought another one. This one here is actually going to put in the 40. Uh, the one I got in the 40 is one of those Chinese ones. Uh, these are Chinese too, but the one in the 40 is real Chinese. It's one of those JEG specials. And it works, but it's not quite big enough. Where this one here is a little bit bigger. That's got modified a little bit, obviously cut the fins off the bottom and, you know, reshaped a little bit. Weld on some mounts and away we go. But it's a nice quality radiator, so I'm kind of excited to get that in there. And let's see what else. I got my cherry picker all apart. I had a delivery a 455 Pontiac one night this week to a buddy of mine. So I got to put that together and get that out of the way was putzing on the old Model A. Another find at the swap meet last week was this intake manifold. That's a uh, C3B Edelbrock. So it's an early version of the uh, Performer. And that's what I was looking for. Or the uh, C3BX, which is what I have on a 40. Being I'm running a 283, I kind of wanted to run the uh, more vintage intake. But I scored that, I scored those radiators. What else did I get? Set exhaust manifolds. Uh, oh, I'm forgetting something now and I don't remember. But uh been putzing on this when I can. Pretty much got where I'm going to put my switches and all that. So that's in there. Uh, just about to the point of blowing this thing apart. Parking brakes pretty much all figured out. I just gotta make one little cable. And I can do that whenever. Exhaust is done. That turned out sweet. I'm happy with that. So, uh, what else? That's about it. Like I said, it's been I've been busy been ordering stuff left and right to get my tail lights in now for the Model A. Get my headlights in for the Model A. I was looking for some at the cart the swap meet last weekend. Either they were just astronomically overpriced for vintage or they were just rotted, beat to heck. So for the money, I just bought new ones. I don't have time right now to screw around trying to find, you know, vintage ones. And those are pretty nice looking. So those will work. Uh, let's see. So my shop's a complete disaster. Still. 
still outnumbered by small blocks everywhere. I think this one here is going to go back to its owner. I just don't want to store it. And let's see, engine for orange peel, I haven't touched that yet. Roller rockers finally came in for it. They've been on back order for about two weeks. And we haven't started on this one yet. This is the motor for the Model A. And uh, depending how things go here in the next week or two, I may have another Model A. We'll have to wait and see though. I haven't heard back. But uh, it's potential. Might be buying a whole lot of car parts. <laughs> But uh, right now I'm just scraping up the money to make it all happen. And hopefully we get the okay. And if it does happen, it could be as soon as next weekend. We'll be hauling it all home. And uh, kind of got bit by the Model A bug here. I don't know why. Probably because my dad was doing this since he was 14. So it finally, you know, jumped into me. But the next one I build will be more of a stock. It'll be more 40s, I'd say. That's kind of what I'm going for. It'll still have the original Model A engine. And uh, we'll hop up that a little bit. Obviously, we'll put juice brakes on it and stuff. But uh, like you said, I said, like I say, you know, I'm just daydreaming what I could build. We'll have to wait and see until we get it. See what we all got and then go from there. But I do kind of want to make a banger car. Something modified. So we'll see. That could be next winter's project. And oh, I got the sticker glass, my next one up. So now I got the guys that I got recently and the new one. Along with the old one. And I do have a mail call to do and I should really do that now before anybody gets here. Because today is going to be just a hectic day of people in and out and me running around. I'm just sitting here taking it easy. I got the two Bruces up here with their cars and trucks. And I got everybody's sticker that I just got this past winter. But yeah, I'll do a mail call. It's definitely long overdue. Been sitting on my desk here. Uh, let's see. So that's about it. Nothing really exciting, but so when something happens today, I'll turn you guys back on. I'll try to do that, and uh, hopefully it gets nice out today. I'll take that for a ride. Haven't driven that now in like four weeks again. So uh, that's it. Talk to y'all later.